Hello everyone, this is David from goldstartool.com and today I'm going to uh, show you guys how to attach a uh, needle positioning system or some people call them a uh, synchronizer, needle synchronizer to a uh, Juki DU-1181N and uh, this is what you're going to get when you buy this is when you buy the machine from us and you buy our brushless motor uh, the machine must have a brushless motor. The brushless motor is one of these motors right here, the tiny one. That you have a control panel in the front, and I'm going to show you the back. And you have, this is the motor. And in the back you see you have all these in and out uh, plugs. Now, this is the kit, okay? And for a variety of sewing machines. So for the D, the 1181, we're gonna use this one, and we're not gonna use this one, but it's gonna come in the kit. Uh, this could be used for a console, could be for a variety of the stuff. Today, we're gonna do an 1181. We're gonna show you how it's done, how you put it on, and how you um, how you set it up so for needle up or down. You're gonna get the needle position, you're gonna get screw, two screws that you're gonna use one of them, you're gonna get this adapter and this three piece right here. The kit, you will need a uh, wrench, a uh, Phillips or flat a screwdriver and a wrench. We're gonna come back to you and show you how it's done. So we're gonna go ahead and take the screw. And so this is two piece. The biggest screw, and we're gonna put the adapter on. This is again on a Juki 1181. You make it tight. Okay. Very tight. You could hold the wheel and tie the screw. Then you're gonna go ahead and open the bottom right side the screw. The original that came with the machine. And then you're gonna go ahead and put the the tiny one, the smaller kit that came with the, with the uh, needle positioning system. You see we're just showing you the big one won't work, you need the smaller one. So the bigger one is for a different machine. They have two ends. So they have two ends. One end. So each screw, if you see, has two ends. Left and a right, and a left and a right. So. So here, we put the long, one of the two on. You tie it all the way and you put the nuts on. And this is again an 1181. You go ahead and put the other nuts on. And then you're gonna put the, uh, we could call it a bracket. And now I'm gonna change my position a little bit for you guys to see. So this is the bracket. You have one nut in the front, one nut in the back. Then you could go ahead and assemble the actual needle positioning unit to the adapter that we put on. There is a set screw right there, open the set screw, put it on, tie it, and this is the part. So this one hooks up to here. Press it in, just push it in. Let me change my position again to just show you guys. That's how it is, just push it in. Here we go. And we're gonna go ahead and tie everything up. Okay, so yeah. there's two screws on the top. We did the screws. And now we're gonna go ahead and tie this one. Really? 
we we'll tie that one too. When you when you tie that, you're gonna go ahead and open the wire and see we try to run it from inside the slit for the cable from the belt. Now this is going to a customer and later on we're gonna go ahead and tie all the um, cables and stuff. And if you see on the top, to the right hand top, right hand side, the second one from the top, the right hand side. Okay, and it's done. Now we have to adjust the needle positioning itself on the box. So this is the setup you see. Exactly the, set, the way you see it, that's how it's gonna be. That's the setup, tight, make sure it's tight. And we're gonna go set up the needle positioning now on our control panel. The machine is on, and this is the up and down. The, uh, you see the, this is up right now. This is down, you see the dot? The dot means up, no dot, up, dot, down. Right now it's gonna be in down position. Watch, and now you see, staying up, so we have to adjust. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go take, open the screw. You see the light comes on and comes off. Here you go, you see when you turn it. We're gonna make sure that when it's Right now, we're gonna put it all the way in down position. We're gonna turn the wheel, turn it all the way in the down position, and then we're gonna go ahead and tie this one. That's how you do it. Turn the wheel, everything in down position, and now whenever you stop, it's gonna stay down, and whenever you go ahead and, now we're gonna do the up position. P without point, up, up. Very simple. Make sure you tie this, and then this is uh, tied in, and then make sure that whenever you do this, all the way down, and then you turn the wheel down and adjust the needle positioning and then tie back and then it stays up. Okay. One last review before we go close the video. You see how it's done. So this is in a down position. You bring the needle all the way down with the wheel and then you tie this one and then when it's on P dot, then it's down and you show, it stays down, and now when we change it to P, without the dot, you show, and it's up. Very simple, shouldn't take more than 10, 15 minutes to uh, adjust this, make sure, only brushless motor, not the servo, brushless, this is a Juki DU 1181, and I'm showing you how to put the needle position on David from goldstartool.com. Thank you for watching.